Hello, if you are here for the first time, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. What I am bringing today is a project so that you can create a lanyard for your mask. And this is the summer of 2020. Pandemic is still raging, um, so this is very much necessary. And especially for those who are going to work or going to school, um, this is something that can really come in handy. And what this does is help you to keep track of your mask, especially for kids. Uh, the one that I actually have on now, I made for boys. And I'll show you how to do this in a minute. What I want to explain is if you've never seen a mask on a lanyard, quite honestly, I just saw this myself a couple days ago and I thought, yeah, we really do need that. Especially, like I said, if uh, kids are going to school, teachers, uh, anybody working in an office, really anywhere. Um, my daughter's a nurse and, in a hospital and she thought this was great. I was going to say genius, but she didn't say that. <laughs> I'm saying that. Okay, anyway, so the lanyard. Um, this will help so that, let's say, you know, you've, you've got your mask on and you've got to maybe go to lunch, go to the bathroom. I don't know what the situation is because I'm unemployed. But um, rather than take off the mask and just, you know, drop it on a table, now you've got it on you so that you don't have to, you know, contaminate the surfaces or have the surfaces contaminate the mask. Um, this will be really super helpful. And of course for kids so that they don't leave their mask laying around. Okay, so this is one version and I'll show you exactly how it works in a minute. And this is another one. This is more girly. Okay, so this looks like little flowers. Let me take that back off. So it looks like little flowers. A little cuter. So I'll show you how to make that also. Now these can be made with almost any kind of yarn. This one is cotton. It's a number four, but it's a thinner number four. And a lot of people are saying you have to do it in cotton. You have no choice so it can wash. Well, you can wash acrylic. This one is acrylic can certainly wash acrylic also. And cotton might shrink. I don't know. I know with the cotton masks, uh, they did shrink a little bit. So cotton shrinks. That's just the way it is. So um, it's up to you though. You can pretty much use any kind of yarn really. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for the blue lanyard, this one is so simple. I mean, you don't need any kind of embellishments or anything really. Um, for the yarn, this happens to be Yarn Be Soft Sacred in Ombre, so it's blues and grays. Okay, and you want to make it about 26 inches long. Well, of course, it depends on who it's for, an adult, a child, a small child, a bigger child. Um, but you want to make it long enough so that you are able to fold over about an inch on each side. So you want to make a chain, I'd say about 27 inches long. I'm not going to give you a count because this is one of those situations where uh, you're using a, um, a tape measure. Okay, so just do a regular chain. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, an even number, an odd number, multiples, it matters not at all. Okay, so now I'm not even going to show you the whole thing because it's just so simple. Um, what you're going to do is single crochets across, so starting in the second chain from the hook. Oh, if you need help with a single crochet, if you need help with any of the stitches, um, I will leave a little white box up above. I always do that with the tutorials for beginner stitches, just in case uh, you're uh, brand new at this. 
Okay, so for a single crochet, you enter the hook into the chain, grab the yarn, pull it through two loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through both loops, and that's your single crochet. And so you will just do that all the way across. All right, when you get to the end, don't forget that last one. And that's it. That's really all you need. If you want to make it wider, so this one is wider because I used a bigger hook. I just happened to grab this one today. This is an, a G. But for this one I used, uh, I don't remember what it was, but a bigger hook anyway. So it gives you a wider band. If you want a wider band, just go ahead and add another row. Chain one, turn, Find that first space and keep going with the single crochets. Okay, I am going to stop for the sake of just showing you how it's done. Okay, so when you get to the end, tie it off. Leave a good sized tail, so we're going to use that actually. Okay, so you just did a chain. I would do one more, because I like to do a nice strong knot. Just squeeze it down, that will form a knot. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you've got your tail. You want to thread, or just shove the end through the hook. So you're going to use one of these hooks and they're the kind that you, know, you squeeze alright so just shove it through okay then you're going to fold this over for about an inch. Take your yarn needle, tapestry needle, and thread the tail through. Okay, so all you need to do now is just sew the two pieces. And of course, you don't have to be super careful or super neat. Okay, so just keep going. Of course, just that little bottom. I would take that other tail, cross it over, and incorporate that into the stitches. I will go back one more time just to make it nice and strong, especially if it's for a kid. So while I was at the store getting these hooks, there was a little boy about 10 years old, I would say, and it looked like he was with his mom or his grandma, um, and the mom was tied up with the um, cashier they were paying. And the little boy had his mask and he was just taking it on, taking it off, flipping it around. He was just going to town with that thing. And it just scares me so much what kids are gonna do with these masks when they're in school. So this is why a lanyard I think is going to be an absolute necessity. Well, that's all you have to do. Okay, just sew it across the bottom a little bit. I would tie these ends and knot them. And then you just cut these ends off. And that's it. This will not come apart in the wash. 
Okay, so obviously I do that on both ends. And then hook, hook the hook into the strap. And that's it. Doesn't get any easier than that, as long as you've got the materials. Okay, for this one, what I did was little petals. Okay, so normally you would do a flower with five petals, and then it looks like a flower. And I did that, and it was way too bulky, so then I did it with four. It was still too bulky, and when I did it with three, boom, we got it. Okay, so I wouldn't go more than three petals, but it could also make a difference if you use a thinner yarn. So if you use like a number three sport weight, then you might be able to go with the four petals and it won't be so bulky. Okay, now what we did, what I did, with the lanyard that I just showed you, the blue one, that one was 26 inches before it got folded over. Okay, so you need a couple inches more to fold it over. So I did 26 inches on that one. Now for this one, it's basically the same length. Uh, since you don't need to fold that one over, the flowery one, don't uh, add any additional length to it. Okay, so all you do is a chain of four to start. And now you're going to make a circle by joining the hook, insert the hook into that first chain, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through that last chain there on the hook. Now chain three. Now we're going to go into the circle with a double crochet. Yarn over. Go into the circle. Pull through. Three loops on the hook. Pull through the first two. Pull through the second two. And then do that again. And then one more time. Okay, so you've got your starting chain, and then three double crochets. Okay, you are also incorporating that tail along the circle. Okay, so now we're going to slip stitch into the circle. So just insert the hook into the hole, grab the yarn, and then slip it into that first chain there. Now chain three, and do three more double crochets. So now you've got a total of four. Slip stitch again. Chain three. And you can scooch these over if you need to make room. Double crochet. It's really hot in this room. Yarn is sticking to my fingers. And one more. So now you've got your three petals. And then do your slip stitch. So the way that you, let me show you on the completed one, the way that they are joined is with a chain. Okay, so you did your slip stitch, you've got your three petals, now you're going to do five chains. There's one, two, three, four, five. 
So the first one is going to be what is holding the other pedal to this pedal. So now we're going to do that circle again. So you're going to join the hook into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. Leave that last one. You're joining with a slip stitch just like the first time. And now chain three. And now you're going to insert the hook into the center, into that hole. And this part gets a little tricky, especially the first one. Okay, so yarn over for your double crochet and then insert it into the circle. You have to feel for that circle because it's so small. And then do your double. So just like the first flower, you're going to do three more double crochets in addition to that chain three. And then go into that circle for a slip stitch. Now whatever feels comfortable to you, it's going to be intuitive to hang onto this pedal but you might need to move it out of the way so you can keep going okay so another chain three go into the circle for three more double crochets And then slip stitch, chain three, three more double crochets. And then slip stitch to finish off that flower or clover or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's the pattern. Okay, so now just chain five. Insert the hook into the fourth chain from the hook. Just make sure that you've always got that one. Chain three. Do your double crochets in the circle and then just keep going and you can go as long as you need to. Now this one is actually easier to insert. All you're going to do is take that hook and just put it through the flower. And that's it. That's how it's hooked on. So this one hooks onto the strap a lot easier because you don't have to fold it over and sew it and all that. You just hook it on. And that's it. Now that you've got the idea of it, you can really make any kind of a strap that you want. You know, if you're an experienced crocheter, you can just go to town with this project. I mean, there's just no end to the possibilities of what you can do with this. But of course, if you're just in a hurry and you just do that one row of single crochets and boom, it's done. Well, you know, fold it over, sew it, put your hook on, and then it's done, <laughs> okay? But this is just such an awesome idea. You know, use your imagination, and above all, be safe. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go over to the blog, crazycoolcrochet.com. And if you've not seen my other videos, 
my designs, if, if I may say so myself, are pretty cool. They're very, very unique. A lot of the things I do out there, um, nobody else has done quite like I'm doing it. I, this is my only source of income, Crazy Cool Crochet, the blog and the YouTube channel. I also have an Etsy channel and I will leave links in the white space below in the description area so that you can go ahead and take a look um, at my other projects. Otherwise, head over to my homepage, click below where it's got the name of you know Crazy Cool Crochet, click on there, it will open up my homepage. From there, go up to the top, you'll see where it says videos, click on that and it opens up the entire library of videos that I've got out there. Okay, so again, stay safe and thank you for watching.